Hello everybody, welcome back to another Midjourney version 5 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create logos with Midjourney and another free AI tool. And not only are you going to learn how to create the logo, we're going to make them and you're going to become the best logo maker, the best logo designer that you know. And I know that's a huge claim, but it's real. You're going to become amazing at it and we're going to use free tools so you don't even have to pay for it. The only thing you need is a Midjourney subscription Everything else is done for free. Big claim, let me back it up. Here's an example. So here's, a, you know, up here, I've got a bunch of logos that I've been working with. And let's say I really like this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and I would right click and copy that or save the image. And then I'll just show you the process and then we'll go through a one step by step. So I would take that image, I would drag and drop it into Photopea. This is a free software on the internet. And then I would remove the background from here. You take the background version, you download that, you put it into Vectorizer AI, and then you can either use the uh, one with the background or without the background. Either way, it creates a vectorized result. We download that and then we throw it into Adobe Illustrator, even though you don't need to do this, I'm just gonna show you that it's a vector. So it's vector art. So if you'll see here, when I click on this layers, layer one, and I select it, it's all vectorized. So again, you don't need to use Adobe Illustrator. This is just to prove that this isn't just a flat image. So you're gonna become the best vector logo maker, logo artist, logo designer, you know right now, start your timer. Okay, here we go, let's start from scratch. First step, we are in mid-journey. First thing you wanna do is type in forward slash imagine and oops, and then hit enter. The next step is we wanna decide what type of logo we're gonna make. So I'm gonna make one like this here. Again, you guys know probably better than I do what type of logo and what you want in it. I'm gonna make a simple one, a zombified logo of a black and green bear's head designed in an eSports illustration style. I'm gonna hit Command V, so I'm gonna copy and paste that in, and I'm gonna hit Enter. I'm gonna come back when it's run its course, and then I'm gonna show you the next steps. All right, welcome back. So you'll see here that we got a few options. If I click on them, we've got this one here. Uh, I like this top left one here the most, but again, you can click on it. And then if you want to keep one of them or all of them, you just click on the button here. So I clicked on U1, and that basically means upscale the first one. If I like that, here it is, and it's gone ahead and upscaled and given me a copy of it. If I like, uh, if I want to make changes to that, I can click on V1, and I can make variations. I can even go ahead and add in different bits and pieces depending on what I want. So I'll just click on submit. But for this vi for this video, we're gonna go with this being a great logo, and it's actually not too bad. So the next step here is I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna right I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna click save image, and I'm gonna call this. Uh, bear logo and i'm going to save it to my desktop again you can save it wherever you want but here we go we just want to take this image and start using it so there we go we've gone ahead and we've saved it and look at these cool new ones that we were uh, creating but anyways now we're going to head over to google chrome we've got our idea for the logo out of mid journey now we're in photopea.com this is free software so you don't need to pay for any of this and normally you, you can also do this in Photoshop, don't get me wrong, but I'm gonna assume that you don't wanna be paying for software. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Finder and I'm gonna find that logo. So here's an example of the logo. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag and drop it right on the center there. And when I do that, here we go, we're in Photopea. It looks a lot like Photoshop, but it's the free version. And bang, we're on our way. Now, the next step, I'm gonna go up here to select and then I'm gonna select Remove BG, which means Remove Background takes a few seconds and then presto, the background is gone and you can see that there's the white and gray little squares there. So we've got a transparent background. So now what we want to do is we've removed the background. We're gonna go over to left side file and then we're gonna go to export as PNG. And the reason why we're doing that is because PNGs have transparent backgrounds. They have an alpha channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Let's see where I'm gonna, let's just call it whatever. I'm gonna call it save. Oh yeah, I don't wanna confirm. Yeah, I'm using an ad blocker. Of course I am. <laughs> I don't trust what's on this site. So I went and saved it as a PNG. Let's go ahead now and show it in Finder. Here it is. And now we're gonna go over to the next program, and this one is free as well. It's vectorizer.ai. Notice that I'm not logged in and I don't even have an account. It's just free to use because right now it is in beta and it's gonna be free, at least hopefully for a little while longer. Grab your image, drag and drop it right in the middle here. And then when you do that, you're gonna see it does three things. It uploads it, 
it processes it, and then it fetches it. And I guess they've got a puppy dog in the background um, <laughs> doing fetch things. It takes just a few quick seconds, and then presto. Left side is the original, right out of mid-journey with the background removed. Right side is the vectorized result. I'm going to click on download, and bang, now we've got it. And you'll see here it says SVG, which means scalable vector graphic. Now I'm going to show that in my finder. And this is a vector graphic. And just to prove it, I'm going to go into photo, um, pardon me, I'm going to go into Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to delete this here. And I'm just going to drag and drop it in and show you. So I'm going to drop it right here. And yeah, I don't care about the clipping mask and presto. Now, when I look at this, when I open it up here, look at that. All of this is vectorized. And if I was to go ahead and grab the direct selection tool and select everything, Look at that. This is a beautiful vector logo. We made it in mid-journey. We removed the background in Photopea for free. We turned it into a vectorizer with vectorizer.ai for free. And now you can go ahead and make logos in seconds, vector logos. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.